Welcome to Santa Paula Art Museum Art Spark Virtual Tour. Art Spark ignites students' imaginations and opens the doors to art education and creative exploration. My name is Stephanie Ortiz, and I will be your guide and teacher for this virtual tour. In this virtual tour, we will look at the exhibit called Inspiration and Influence, featuring artists Dwayne Dameyer and Rima Muna. Dwayne Dameyer is a sculptor from Ventura who works in a variety of beautiful stones. Rima Muna is a painter, also from Ventura, who focuses on abstract paintings. The exhibit title Inspiration and Influence comes from the story of these two artists and how they work together. A few years ago, Duane and Rima noticed each other quite by accident when their artworks were placed next to each other in a local exhibit. They quickly discovered they share similar interests which influence their work, shapes and colors they see while hiking in nature, and places they have both traveled to. The two artists were inspired to team up for a collaborative art show. That brings us to our first vocabulary word, collaboration. Can you say it with me? Collaboration. Collaboration refers to people working together in a partnership to create something new. Rima Muna and Dwayne Dameyer collaborated to create this exhibition of their artworks. These two pieces are an example of how they collaborated. This is a photograph of Ronda, a town in Spain. Both Dwayne and Rima traveled there and were inspired by the beautiful landscape and architecture. Here, a small town sits on top of a steep, rocky cliff. These are the artworks that Duane and Rima collaborated on, both of them inspired by Ronda, Spain. And that brings us to our next vocabulary word, inspiration. Can you say it with me? Inspiration. Inspiration means when your brain is thinking about something. And thinking about that thing makes your brain jump to another whole new idea. When your brain gets inspired, you feel excited. You want to act on your idea and to make things that express your ideas and thoughts. You feel inspired. This is Dwayne's sculpture inspired by Rhonda. He carved the stone into tiny, intricate details to recreate what he felt and saw in Rhonda. Can you see how he was inspired? What do you think when you look and think about Rhonda and this sculpture? This is how Rima was inspired by Rhonda. In Rima's drawing, she uses dark lines of pastel to create interesting forms and shapes to represent her experience and what inspired her. Can you see how she was inspired? Although Rima and Duane were both inspired by the same place, you have probably noticed that their works don't look the same. In Duane's sculpture, you can see some of the same things you see in the photograph, such as windows, doorways, and the lines of the cliffside. That brings us to our next vocabulary word, representational. Can you say it with me? Representational. In art terms, we would say that Duane's sculpture is representational. Representational art looks like something we can recognize. Duane's sculpture is representational of Rhonda's photograph. He also used details in his sculpture that were representational of Rhonda, Spain. Have you been to Rhonda, Spain? Our next vocabulary word is abstract. Can you say it with me? Abstract. In art terms, we would say that Rima's drawing is abstract. Abstract art does not use realistic details, and so we don't recognize that it looks like Rhonda Spain. Instead of making her drawing look like the photograph of Rhonda, Rima chose to focus on just the lines and shapes that interested her. She wanted to recreate the feeling she had while visiting Rhonda. 
not just the details that her eyes saw. This is a photograph of a plant that grows in the area, a succulent called the flapjack. Both Duane and Rima love the deep red color and hints of green with the curving lines of this plant. Both of them were inspired by this plant to make artworks to capture and enjoy those colors and lines. Can you see the ways that Rima's painting was inspired by this succulent? Can you see how she used the same lines and colors? How she changed some lines to be different and how she added some colors too. Rima says, inspiration is everywhere, even in the unlikeliest of places. That's really what drives me in my art and my life. Noticing beauty in our everyday lives is so important. To appreciate life and each other is the key to true happiness. Can you see the ways that Duane was inspired by the succulent? Can you see why he chose this particular stone to work with? Can you see how the shiny leaves look the same in the shiny stone? When you look at this plant, do you feel inspired? Duane and Rima collaborated to both use the succulent for inspiration and to show their inspired artworks next to each other. Can you see how Duane and Rima inspired each other? Inspiration can come from anywhere. It can come from a thing or an idea or even a feeling you have. Here is another abstract painting by Rima. The title is Cantable Opus and it comes from a song that Rima was listening to as she painted. Rima was inspired and influenced by this song. And now we have our next vocabulary word, influence. Can you say it with me? Influence. Influence is similar to inspiration. It is something that guides an artist's art making process. It has an effect on the final outcome of the art piece the artist is creating. As Rima painted, she listened to the music, and the music influenced the final outcome. Maybe the rhythm in the music made her hand move in a certain way, guiding the shapes. Maybe the tone or emotion of the music made her use a certain color. Maybe the loudness of the music made her use bold shapes, and the softness of the music made her use soft colors. What do you think? This is Rima's painting titled Bursting Open, another abstract painting. It is a very large painting, over eight feet wide and six feet tall. This is by far the largest painting the Santa Paula Art Museum has ever exhibited. Abstract paintings are fun because they don't have recognizable details. You are free to see and feel anything you want. What do you see when you look at this painting? How does that make you feel? Duane makes abstract sculptures also. This one is titled Boomerang Loop. Duane was inspired by one of the shapes he saw in Rima's painting and made a sculpture that captured that shape. Can you see what part of the painting inspired Duane? What part of the painting inspires you? The shape that Duane and Rima used here is an example of our next vocabulary word, biomorphic. Can you say that with me? Biomorphic. Excellent. Biomorphic shapes look like things you would find in nature. It has an irregular shape. Duane also makes sculptures that are geometric. Our next vocabulary word. Can you say it with me? Geometric. Geometric refers to lines and shapes 
that are perfect, straight, and regular. This is a photograph of a rock formation in Piedra Blanca located in Rose Valley, Ojai. On a joint hike in 2017, Rima and Duane were both inspired by these rocks. Rima thought that it looked like hands, but Duane saw an elephant. Here is how Rima was inspired by this rock formation. Would you call this painting abstract or representational? Did she create biomorphic shapes or geometric shapes? Here is how Duane was inspired by the same rock formation. Would you call this sculpture abstract or representational? Did he create biomorphic shapes or geometric shapes? What would you make if you were inspired by this rock formation? Before we end this tour, let's take a look and enjoy a few more artworks by Rima and Duane. Thank you for joining us on this Virtual Art Spark Tour. We hope you enjoyed the exhibit Inspiration and Influence by Dwayne Dameyer and Rima Muna. To continue your Art Spark Tour experience, the museum has put together a hands-on art project to explore some of the vocabulary and ideas we covered on this tour. You can experience the joy of art making yourself. Please look on this page for a link to the art project lesson and demonstration to go with it. Thank you for joining us today at the Santa Paula Art Museum. We hope to see you again soon. Have a great day.